Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial and I'm going to continue the bandwidth management series and today I'm going to show you how to prioritize browsing. So first thing that you need to do is to create an address list for your network or the network that you want to target. I'm going to target this network which is the 192.168.6.0 slash 24 and this network is for my hotspot and so I'm going to create an, an address list and I'm going to put in the address that I'm targeting okay and now I'm going to create some manga rules for download and upload so the first rule that I'm going to create I'm going to create one for the download and for the in interface is a one advanced and for destination, I'm going to choose hotspot. Action. I'm going to mark this connection. I'm going to call this download connection. So I'm just going to shorten, shorten the name. But you can type out a full name if you want. But I, I normally shorten the names. And now I'm going to add another rule. And this one will also be forwarding. And I'm going to mark the traffic, um, the browsing traffic. So I'm going to change protocol to TCP and any the any port, I'm going to use port 80 and 443. These are the two ports that I'm going to use for browsing traffic. And for the connection marking, I'm going to choose the download connection that, that was created previously. And then I'm going to mark these packets as browsing browsing packets and uh, I'm not going to allow the traffic to pass through after it is marked I'm going to mark it and then pass it on to the user so I'm not going to allow a pass through on this because when it is passed when it when pass through is checked the traffic that leaves this rule will go go on to another rule and for another processing which I don't really don't want because that is um, very inefficient so I've created that rule and now I'm going to create another one and this rule will be for any other traffic so the mark the connection mark will be still download advance destination will be hotspot just the same I'm not specifying any port or anything all I'm doing is just marking any other traffic that is passing through for that is downloaded so I'm going to mark this and call this other buckets and check this and now I'm going to create the manga rules for upload so we're going to use pre-route for upload and the in interface would be the bridge and the bridge that I'm going to use for my network is the hotspot bridge and the address list would be the source address which is hotspot so for download you use destination and for upload you use source go to action and we're going to mark this connection and call it up connection and create another one and this will be for browsing so choose TCP for the protocol and the port will be 80 and 443 and the connection mark would be up connection action we're going to mark the pockets. I'm going to call this browse. Browsing. Oh, I think I should. I'm going to rename one of the 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 marking that was set previously. I'm going to rename it because I didn't put in whether or not it's up or down. But as long as the marking are different. It should work, but I'm going to just correct that 
right after this. So I mark this part. I'm going to change this marking to be down. That's DW for short. Now I'm going to create another rule. And uh, this is for any other traffic that is flowing that is uploaded. And then to choose the up connection. And then the source would be the hotspot. And I'm not going to choose or select any ports. I'm just going to mark the pockets. I'm going to call this other up. And this is pockets. Uncheck that. Alright, so let me just check the rules. I'm going to change this one also. I'm going to change it back to change it to down. Yeah, so it's much easier to read. Alright, so so now I'm going to create the Q tree um, for for these that will utilize these pocket marking. So we're going to add a new Q tree. Um, in the previous tutorial, I'd created uh, some PC Q download um, Q types, and it was two megabits down and two fifty-six um, kilobits up. Um, I'm going to leave those. I can use them back, or you can create your own and adjust the speed accordingly. And if you you can just take a look at what it was before. So it's just the rate. This was all that was changed. I just made a copy of the default rule and um, rename it and set a rate for the download and for the upload. Same, where I set a rate for the upload. And this rate would be a fixed rate for the for the users. So I'm going to create the queues now. I'm going to call this all bandwidth okay and now I'm going to create a queue for download and the parent will be all bandwidth and then you can set a limit node for your download traffic I'm going to set 10 megabits think let me see all right I'm going to set a limit for the all bandwidth which always set a limit for the all bandwidth so I'm going to set this to say nine and for the global so say for instance your internet is 10 megabits which the global should be the total bandwidth that is available um, for your internet so if you're Upload is say 9 megabits and your download is 1 megabit Your global should be a total should be at least The total or more just in case your ISP support um, bursting So I'm going to create a next one I'm going to call this browsing And uh, just put the DW for download and the parent for this will be download and the packet mark would be browsing download and the queue type now so this is where you can choose what you want so if I want the user to just only have 2 megabits down in respect of what is being utilized um, you can use this or if you want the bandwidth to be divided based on the number of clients automatically you could choose the default so I want a fixed rate for each client so I'm going to choose my fixed rate which is the 2 megabits and uh, I can also set a max limit for for this download and I'm going to set this to say 8 ok and I'm going to create another um, queue for other and the parent is download and the packet marking would be other download packet and for the queue type 
I'm going to select I'm going to select this also but I'm going to show you how to prioritize the browsing so although the bandwidth is the same you can prioritize the browsing using the priority so for the other the traffic the priority is 8 so I can give other other download a lower a lower limit so I can say for anything else 1 megabit okay and not only that but what I'm going to do I'm going to up the priority on browsing I'm going to give browsing priority 1 that means even if the network is congested browsing will always get um, the uh, any available bandwidth that is there and anything that is left um, any other traffic any other type of traffic that is flowing through the router it will allocate the remaining bandwidth for those so I'm going to create one uh, uh, another queue for upload and the parent is all bandwidth and for upload the, the max is one megabit and now I'm going to create upload for browsing and for the pocket browsing up no browsing yeah and then for the upload I'm going to select the PCQ upload to 56 and the limit would be you can set that you can also set the limit to be the same as the total available you can set so for browsing browsing will be able to get a max one megabit upload and then I can give this part to one and then for any other traffic I'm going to leave it as priority 8 uh, so for upload and other upload and then I'm going to give this leave this at priority 8 and then I can even set the limit now you can say well for this I'm going to give 512k for this type of traffic ok so this is a queue Alright, so let me just quickly run through what was done. So first we had created the address list for the network that we are, that we want to target. Then we create the Mongo rules and we started by creating a connection, mark the connection for download traffic and then went on to mark the pockets that are passing through that connections, that connection that is browsing and then any other traffic was also marked for as other download and for upload went ahead and mark the connection mark the pockets that are uploaded for browsing and any other traffic was also marked for up any other uploading traffic so for the queues the maximum bandwidth um, that is available for all the queues our overall is limited at 10 megabits so for download is 9 for upload is 1 and this will equal to 10 megabits so this figure here must always be higher than the total bandwidth of your two main queues which is download and upload so long as long as it is higher you shouldn't have a problem so for download download there's no marking for download because download is appearing for browsing download and other downloads and also for upload the is appearing for browsing upload and other upload and then based on the queue type that is used the user each user will be limited so i'm going to do a quick quick test and show you how the queue functions all right so this is how the queue looks when a single user is actually downloading and you realize that the maximum download 
is set to 2 megabits and that is based on the the queue type that was configured and this is one that I'm using I can change it and show you the effects of using a different queue type so if I use say for instance the the default if I change the default then you'll see where that user will be able to to download at a faster rate so that is how you would go about configuring um, or prioritizing browsing on your network so that's it for this tutorial if you like this video please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you have subscribed please remember to do so so thanks for watching